Hi everybody, it's Dee and Sarah from Sarah Designs and we are going to show you today stamps for beginners. So we're going to explain what kind of different stamps there are for card making and for whatever other kind of crafts you want to do and how to use them. So I'm with my lovely assistant Sarah who is not, she likes to decorate cards but she is just learning now how to do certain stamping procedures and whatnot. And so we're going to teach her and you're going to learn with her. Um, let's see, I'm gonna grab a couple cards here that we've stamped. You see any other ones that we could use? Should we show this one? Yeah, I was looking at that. All right, so here's just a few cards, a few samples of cards we've made with stamps. So. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Move this up a little bit. These are all stamps, ink stamps. And then we've colored them in. That's the seascape. Here's a bumblebee with a little sentiment. And then we did a embossing. Put some brads here. Said buzz. Feel better. Okay. Buzz, buzz. And then here's a shaker card we made. These are all stamps here. Stamps in the background. Snow buddies are the best. These are all done with stamps. This is just a cutout. This is a stamp. Don't take these moments for granted. All done with stamps. So, we're going to show you how to do stops. Stamping. You ready, Sarah? Sure. Alright, first we're going to show you the different kinds of stamps we have. Okay. First stamp we have, we're going to show is, what is that? A block stamp? A wood block stamp. Close enough. Show the side. Show the top. The other, the other side. The, oh. This is red rubber. Mm -hmm. If you see here, our lighting sucks, but it's kind of cushioned here. A little bit of cushion in here. Wood with your your image here, turn it over. This is what the image is supposed to look like. Now, doesn't necessarily mean that what because it's lined up like that, that it's gonna be lined up like that. That's one of the drawbacks with these wood stamps because you doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be lined up. As one wood stamp. And yes. Wood stamp number two, these are background stamps. I'm showing you the, I left the price tag on here so you can see that I get most of my stamps on clearance. This was $2.99. They're normally like $12, 10 whatever dollars um, for these bigger stamps. But I usually try to get mine on clearance. These are little pebbles. This is what this looks like. It's a background stamp. Um, you can do it all around. I'll see if I can find a paper or a design that I made with this in a minute. Um, we also have this. One of my favorite stamps. Very good. Nope. Um, this is uh, about another background stamp. And I'll show you a card I made with this. And this. I don't know if I have any cards I made with that one, actually. I think they might be gone. I don't know. Again, rubber stamp. Stained. It's been well loved. They're the wooden ones. Next, we have these cling stamps. Cling stamps on paper. It clings, two things. It's got the red rubber stamp and it's cushiony. And that's one of them. Next one. These also are cling stamps. Cool little design one. They're clingy. They cling. It's not wood, it's cushion with the red rubber. Some of my favorite stamps. We also now have the clear stamps. Clear stamps come in a package. It looks like this. Actually, I just got this a little while ago from Tuesday morning. It was $1.99 for this stamp. You want to show them how the paper peels off? It's usually very difficult to get off, but I did use this a minute ago. So, um, Sarah's going to peel off one of the stamps for you to show you how difficult it is to pull off the first time. I pray it doesn't rip. <coughs> I haven't had one that rips yet, but you kind of, you kind of got to be gentle a little bit with it. Keep it in frame, hon. There you go. There's your stamp. 
it's jelly like rubbery so for those stamps what you do you would put it on an acrylic block like this to a stop now when I first started stamping I didn't have acrylic blocks so I used the back of the lid or the lid of a an ink pad just stick it on there as long as it was clear I didn't care got it stamp it you're good to go then I graduated went to AC Moore one day right next to you there underneath your phone there is and these little blocks were a dollar in a dollar bin so got a couple one of them stained really bad but these work in a pinch they're thinner much thinner than this as you can see they have even bigger ones than this but this is the one that I the ones that I have but they're much thinner but they work they were a dollar um, this came in a set like this I think it was called Fiskars I think I got it from Fiskars $9.99 you get the teeny tiny one small medium large and then the long one so that is that another item you will need when stamping Bum, ba, da, dum. this is an old mouse pad that I actually cut I had to use this for something else use this for cushion extra cushion two out for there you go. Um, stamping so it gives you a cushion when you're stamping especially with the wood blocks because the wood doesn't really have much give and I'm sorry I'm shaking the thing so we're going to start out by showing you how to stamp we're just going to use regular old black tuxedo ink the memento black tuxedo ink you can open it it's going to face this way so keep it this way all right you know what i'm saying um all right put it down so to stamp grab the make a wish one don't put it on the table because it's going to shake the table some people stamp on the pad some people stamp the pad on the stamp if you're me you don't both I think it's fully covered no all right now put it on hold it firmly down you the, you want to hold it for a few seconds in there so that it, the ink absorbs into the paper and it gives you a good impression pull it up give it even pressure pull it up she did not okay this is what she did wrong mm -hmm. she was half on half off you gotta remember that. Good mistake. Good mistake to make. Do it again. Not on the table. Please. Good mistake to make. You have to remember where that is. Sorry, I used was using this earlier for scrap. So let's do this. So you can see it. Remember it only goes to here. <clears throat> Try it again. Even pressure. You want to press firmly. Hold it for a couple seconds. And let go. There we go. Woohoo! Much better. See how lovely? Now, to clean them, this is an old, what do you call it? Baby wipe that I started using last night. It was clean last night. I just take it, it's kind of dry. I have a little spray bottle from old hair. John Frieda. Yeah, old John Frieda hair stuff. Hair supply I used. I, used. Um, I keep water in it now. It mists really good. You wipe it off. I just reuse the baby wipes until they're absolutely not usable, but it cleans it off perfectly. Beautifully. Keep it this way. I can't tell the light goes. Okay. So anyway, that's that. Let's show these. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this a block. So she's gonna use a block. She's gonna put it on there. Now if you notice these have grid lines. I don't usually use the grid lines, just to line it up. You can. I don't. I eyeball it. I think she's gonna eyeball it. I'm guessing. Go ahead. How do you use a grid lines? If you, um, let's say, uh, you want to okay. put it okay. right here, and you want to line it up just so, and I eyeball, especially with the clear. You can see through it, so you can pretty much see where you're going with it. Okay. All right. Make sure you're on your pad. 
Press nice and firmly. Don't be scared. Press down nice and firm. Lee. And there you go. Wonderful. That was that one. Now, let's do another clingy one. You want to do another cling? Sure. I'm gonna do another cling. There you go. Pick it up. Watch the tables shaking. Oops. Sarah's phone's ringing. All right, come on. Press nice and firmly. Pull it. All right. Now we're going to do the clear. Show you how that works. Right. I need a bigger one. Want a bigger one? Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Can't see it, but okay. I think it's covered. But I can't tell. No, oh, this side looks covered. Right. Press nice and firmly. Pull it up. There you go. Beautifuls. Whippity wipe. Wipe. Little bumblebee. There's a little bumblebee one also. The little cute little thing that we made this cord with. So, there's much you can do, so much you can do with stamps. You can color them. Um, we're going to show you one with inks. Eventually, different kinds of inks there are. Um, you got the memento, you got the color box, the dye ink, you got your watermarks, you got your stays on. Um, your distress inks, we got your chalk inks. Um, that's not chalk. That's a dye ink. That's a dye ink. Trust me, there's chalk ink in here. That's a chalk ink. Chalk inks. You got these inks, color box. You got all kinds of inks. So we're going to do a video on that eventually. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and, um, we hope you enjoy our video. Give us thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos of, um, card making for beginners. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.